Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Dhawal Mehta and today we'll discuss working in Excel. So we'll go in Excel workbook. Here we are having the marks of Joan, Missel, Thomas, Henry for semester 1, 2, 3, 4. Now we want to calculate the maximum marks of each student, minimum marks, average, standard deviation and variance. Now there are three methods in which you can calculate any function. So let's go here and I'll write down here maximum. Enter. The first thing which you can do is you just write down maximum provided that you know the function. Select the range, close the bracket, done. The another method is you can go in formulas insert function now let's say we want to calculate the minimum so activate the statistical from here and mean click ok it requires a range so what i can do is make sure that your cursor is blinking here if not press backspace and activate it select the range click ok done now write down here, this is minimum, the second method. The third method, there is an fx function here also. Click here. Make sure that your cursor, that uh, you get an equal to sign in this bracket. So, now activate average, click OK. Select the range, click OK average now I want to calculate the standard deviation of the marks so I'll write down here standard deviation click here insert the function browse the standard deviation function and standard deviation function so activate all and possibly standard deviation is yeah here it is standard deviation click ok uh, again select the range Click OK, done. Now we want to calculate the variance. So just write down here var, select the range, close the bracket, done. Now we want the maximum marks of Missel, Thomas, Henry. That can be done. You select this cell, and when the sign changes, see. The cross sign when it changes just drag it so it will give me the maximum marks of Miss L Thomas and Henry again drag it minimum marks average standard deviation variance now I require the total of this first semester so there is a very simple shortcut key. Just press Alt equal to. Done. Now double click here. So it will give me the total of semester 1, 2, 3 and 4. Similarly, I want the total of columns. This can be done, all, uh, this can be done also by using Alt equal to. Press Alt and equal to. Alt equal to. Done. Now just drag it. Now I want to copy this data to sheet 2. So select the cells which you want to copy. Copy. Activate the clipboard. Uh, press copy. If uh, there is 
previous data, press clear all and press copy. Make sure that the same data is highlighted here. Now you activate C2, paste all. You can see here. The data has been copied. Again, I'll go into C21. Now just see in the status bar, it is giving me the count. That is, there are uh, the count is four, means uh, four data points are there. We require that in the status bar, it, uh, it gives me the sum, the average. This can be done very easily as we had discussed in my previous video that how you can customize your status bar. Just keep the cursor here, right click on it and activate average, minimum, maximum. Just see here, it displays the same thing, maximum, minimum and average. Now there are some shortcut keys. Uh, they are quick editing tools. Please note down this quick editing tools. The first key is Alt plus HOI. This will adjust the rows and columns according to the cell, con cell contents. Let's do it. We'll go in the Excel sheet. Now I'll press Alt, H-O-I. This is first. This, there is a second key also. Alt H A C. This will align all cells in center. Okay. I'll press Control Z Z to undo the previous changes which we had done. Now I'll press Alt H A C. You can see the entire data is in center. Now we want to import the data which is in text format. First of all, let's see the data. So it is in text format. So how we can do this? Let's go back in Excel. Click on File, Open, Browse. Make sure that all files is on. Then only you will be able to see the text file. Click on Marks, Open. So the text import wizard will get activated. By default, delimited is on, that is characters such as comma, steps, separate each field. Press next. So, the data has been segregated using tab. If your data consists of, uh, if the, the data has been separated by using semicolon, activate semicolon. If it is comma, activate comma. Press next. Press finish. Done. The data from text has been imported into the Excel. So this was all about working in Excel. For more videos on MS Excel, please subscribe my channel so that you can refer all my videos in playlist. Please don't forget to like and share my videos. You can also follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter as well as Instagram. Link given in the description box.